Hi everyone, it's Angel and welcome to my channel. So today I want to talk about uh, something that means so much to me and this concept honestly has helped me so much continue on in my healing journey emotionally and spiritually and my therapist tells me and it is this um, healing is not linear and I want to talk about the concept of healing not being linear and how I've applied that in my life and how I've use that to help push forward in my life as a human being. So let's get into it. <laughs> okay, so um, I first heard this phrase, healing is not linear from my therapist, maybe like a year and a half ago. And it's probably one of the most painful things that I have heard from her, but also the most relevant. Um, I've started, I've been healing um, in my healing journey and like in my struggle with mental health for about three years now. And this word or this phrase could not be more valid. Um, I think whenever you're trying to grow or improve upon something, it's never a straight line. There are highs, there are lows. You can take two steps back and five steps forward. But I think the thing that I've learned the most is that there is power in pushing forward no matter how far behind you felt. And to give yourself grace for being human. And so I guess I wanna use my life and a few of my stories to kind of show the relevancy of this concept. So um, three years ago, during the pandemic, March of 2020, I started therapy. And um, that really jump-started my healing process um, for my mental health. And in that, I guess, like, year, year and a half or so that we were really, like, in our homes, not able to go out because of the pandemic and because of COVID, um, I was really able to heal exponentially. I was laid off and I was really privileged that I could use my unemployment to um, survive off the bare minimum and focus all the time that I had to really exploring my innermost self and um, really growing as a human being. I would literally, I would meditate. I, I, I got to this point where I could meditate for like two hours straight and that took like months and months and months. And then I would journal every day. I would do something called shadow work, which is, you know, kind of writing about certain topics that really bring out your shadow and um, the things that are hard to face within yourself. Um, I read books about self-development and mental health healing and I would literally take notes for hours and hours and hours. I had I had like a notebook and a Google Doc of all of these different books and I focused 100% of my life on healing. I helped change my habits and I was just growing and growing and growing. I really, I, I could, there came a point where I could look at myself and truly, truly just like love myself with all of my heart. Like to the point where like I was just going to the beach at sunrise and just dancing at sunrise because I was so freaking happy and I was so in love with myself for the first time in in like forever, if, if ever. And I was just constantly growing and growing and growing in my healing journey and in like a year, I thought I was fixed, I thought I was good. And then this one event happened during the holidays and I hit an all time low, lower than I had ever felt before. And um, I really needed to, I'm sorry, um, I needed to take a step back. And I felt like I was, I took like 100 steps forward and 10,000 steps back. I, I was depressed. I, I didn't know what to do. And I felt lower than I had ever felt before. And that's when this phrase comes in. Healing is not linear. Is that... Even though I was at that low point, I had actually not reached a lower point than before. I had learned all these coping mechanisms and despite the fact that my mental health was in a crisis, I was so much more knowledgeable because of all of the learnings that I had before. And yes, I had to crawl back up and learn to re-love myself, but I still did it. And I continued on to grow and to learn to love myself again with a newfound strength and resilience because I knew that I had fought through this really intensive mental health crisis and I felt even more resilient. 
I continue to grow. I continue to grow again, to love myself again. Um, I started posting on TikTok about my healing journey. I like went skydiving, I got featured in the New York Times. And again, I was on this like huge high. And again, like my growth was so exponential again. And then I experienced another major trauma that um, messed with me for about six months. <laughs> and I moved to New York City because that was my plan. But I was in, again, another mental health crisis. And on top of that, I was surrounded by, by people who didn't know me and who had made assumptions about me. And it was harder and harder for me to love myself. And it took six months for me to feel okay again. And that was a really, really hard time because for six months I felt low. I felt like the beginning of my therapy journey. I felt like depressed and I felt hopeless and I didn't think I would be able to get out of it. But then I pushed through. And when I again reached this point of, of looking back and knowing that I had gotten through that event, I was even stronger, I was even more resilient, and I knew that I could, I could get through anything because I had moved to another city, I would gotten through this huge trauma, living in this city all by myself, and I was, I was more powerful than I had ever been before, than, than I had been previously when I was completely isolated and was working on my mental health because I knew that I could get through anything and I could heal even if there were people that didn't believe in me, even if I was living somewhere new and there was this whole new level of self-belief. Um, and I continued again to heal. And then again, <laughs> like six months later, I went through a breakup and that jarred me again for six months. And that hurt so badly. And again, I was in this dark, dark place and I did not feel like I could get out. But, but then at that point, there was this fire inside of me that had become so automatic that I pushed forward. And then I got featured in the New York Times again. And then I started having a career that I really loved. And all of a sudden, I realized that I could heal, have a career where I could make good money, and I could, I could learn to love myself in that process. And I became even more resilient. The lesson here is that healing is not linear but those low points can actually help you grow and become stronger than you ever thought before. Healing is not linear, but is it, a pro it is a process of strengthening and sometimes you have to trust the process. So, push forward, even when it's hard. I promise that it's worth it. Thanks again, everyone, and I will talk to you soon as we talk about life and love and everything in between. I love you all. I'll see you later. Bye.